hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video guys you can see the error on the screen no boot device found please install an operating system and the error code is 3f0 so in this video guys i'm going to guide how to fix this issue easily and whether you are using windows hp computer or the laptop first of all guys you need to shut down your system properly so press and hold the power button for almost 10 seconds so this is my power button you just need to press it and once your computer is properly shut down just you need to turn it on and once you turn it on you need to press escape key continuously and you need to continuously hit the escape key like this so once you press escape key properly you should be able to see more options here we have to go to the bios option and in order to go to the BIOS option, here is the option F10 key. Okay, so press here F10 key. Now let me. So once you are on a BIOS screen, your BIOS may look different. But basically we need to go to the boot orders. So in order to go to boot order in my system, I have to go to system configuration. You need to go to the same setting here and somehow you need to find out the boot options then enter key now there are two types of BIOS option first is legacy and the newer version is UEFI if you have the latest systems like you have the latest hardware you can select the UEFI but if you have the older version and your window is installed with the legacy support then you have to select the legacy support here so this is the bios mode so we can tweak some changes in the bios mode go to legacy support as you can see here legacy support is disabled in my system right now so you can tweak the changes to enable it and you need to confirm it once the legacy support is enabled in your system make sure the secure boot is disabled since the legacy support doesn't support the secure boot as you can see here secure boot it is not going to secure boot but make sure secure boot should be disabled if we have enabled the legacy support so legacy support we have enabled and we have disabled the secure boot this is a setting you need to do the same and once you have done the setting go to boot order now as you can see this is the legacy boot order now once you go to the legacy boot order guys you need to make sure that the ssd or hard drive is on the priority so let's say this is the hard drive on your system ssd so you have to change its value from as you can see here f6 or f5 so i will press f6 here this is f6 and it will go to up you can see here but in my system the legacy boot order is not showing up here since my laptop is a newer version but if you have got the ssd showing up under the legacy boot order you have to select that on the priority and once you have selected on the priority you have to press f10 key and you need to save the changes here once you done the changes here you may have to enter the password code inside this as you can see here like so 5926 plus enter i need to complete the changes so i need to press five nine two six and i need to press the enter key here and once i press the enter key the changes will take effect after you have completed this step and if you are not getting this prone that's okay now you should be able to fix your issue now if still not guys we have to again go to the bios options 
and we can perform many steps from there as well after that I will press skip key again like this once it is shut down now it's up and again F10 key in order to go to the BIOS again now again go to the same options system configuration then boot options okay and this time choose this option legacy support to disable disable it and once you disable it as you can see here secure boot is highlighted and make sure you can enable this option that is optional but you should enable the secure boot as well now we have made the changes legacy support is disabled and secure boot is enabled now let's go to the boot priority now and you can also check if the hard drive is showing up here under two bios mode uefi boot order and legacy boot order your hard drive or ssd should be showing up here if your ssd is not showing up here so you can reattach the hard disk properly okay and then we will also go to the another steps to fix this issue as well so as you can see here my boot order is all already on the priority so let me make it down in order to show you how you can change it now you need to press f6 key in order to go up like this now you can see uefi boot order is on the priority so once you have done this setting again press f10 key okay save the changes and exit out from this bios and if any prompt comes enter the same code there and you should be able to fix your issue if also you are unable to fix this issue and you don't know what boot order you need to change that in that case you need to press f9 key in order to set up defaults so f9 key is here and whatever supported on your system it will be automatically selected here as you can see here it has selected already all the things and then you need to press f10 and simply save the changes and go back and you should be able to fix your issue if your system is still not booting up guys again come over to this screen and this time we will run the hardware diagnostic test with the help of f2 key this will show if the hard drive is showing up here and there is no issue with the hardware as well so press here f2 key now first test the hard disk since this issue is related to hard disk quick check and let this run this will take some time and after that it will show you the result remaining time you can see also here so wait here the smart check is passed in my system and short dst test in a progress if you see any warnings and any failed here that that is simple you have to replace your ssd or hard drive nothing can works if the hardware is failed on your system but this is the method to verify that and if all the things are passed here then in the last step we will make a bootable pen drive same bootable pen drive and install the windows on the system sometimes windows corruption can cause this issue and complete reinstallation is needed now you can see the test result here this is the pass and make sure in your system also it is passed if you have got this passed then we can go back and you can look for another test as well but let me exit out from here and i want sure yes and
let me check if some of the steps we can troubleshoot as well from here so from the bios option guys i have told you everything if nothing works and hardware test is passed just make a bootable pen drive of the operating system and just simply insert it okay and once you insert it you need to also make the usb on the top on the priority so this is my usb i need to press f6 key again and i will save changes and now my system will boot from the usb pen drive as you can see here your window should boot from the usb pen drive select next next and after that guys just select your ssd and install the fresh window on it so these are the steps to fix this issue guys and i have shown you all the possibilities to fix this issue so i hope this video helps you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching